Welcome to another episode of the SUP Podcast. I'm one of your hosts. I'm Luke Trevisi, uh, online, traveling the web to come to you guys, not live, today, Monday, whatever. Uh, you hear that laughter, you know who it is. It's Chris Cheney, everybody. What up? And then, of That's course, good, uh, the silent strong type, Lawrence Deloach. Hey, guys. <laughs> he is the silent and strong type. Yes. Very silent, but very strong. Ah. Mm-hmm. Uh, how, how's quarantine, everybody? Oh, this stinks. Yeah. This blows my ass. Lawrence, how's your, your quarantine going? It's all right. Same shit. You know, just trying to survive, making sure everything, uh, you know, I don't know. Everything's still going? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's great, guys. Uh, Luke, how's your quarantine? It looks like you're having a great time in your I'm having a great time. Right? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I really am. I'm having a good time here. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff going on. Uh, fucking! I'm, There's nothing fun going on. There's I'm catching up fun. on anime. I'm catching up on a lot of anime. Yeah, That's it. That's I all I've too. been doing. Lawrence, what are you Lawrence. doing to fill the time, buddy? Exactly. What are you doing to fill the time? Playing NBA 2K. That's it. That's what really you, it. You playing my career. I'm playing my career. I'm playing uh, my GM. I'm just doing it all, man. You know, I haven't really played video games and. Uh, fucking years either so yeah you, you know so it's kind of like you're oh, so man. terrible <laughs> i bet you're no. like real bad no you know what it is it's funny because nba 2k i mean you know the city you know i played the series before so that's the one game i you know i still have it in me it's just learning like yeah. certain nuances and shit but you you know how to play the game so um I, I just will say that i don't like playing people online because Ooh, a lot of dudes so much still, cheese, uh, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so like, much you, you cheese, know, especially like those uh, my team uh, mm-hmm. uh, shit where you go online. Not my team, but when you yeah, like it's my player and you play with other dudes. Like they're like you know everyone <laughs> is out there not fucking playing smart. It's just dudes, <laughs> it's frustrating because that's you know, what online but, is, dude. Yeah. Any game, any situation, whatever genre of game it is, there's just idiots online doing dumb shit that doesn't even make any mm-hmm. sense. No, nope. mm-hmm. that's everybody how I'm learning. Wants to, everybody wants to be their my player, dog. They just want to mm-hmm. score fifty, you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. uncontested. On Wait, pro did you guys mode. see that? Um, I guess like LeBron and a couple other guys are going to play two K in a tournament. So they actually started the two K tournament already. Um, oh, they the did. First, the first, yeah, it started on Friday. Uh, Kevin Durant was the number one overall seed. He lost to uh, Derek Jones from the Miami Heat. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that's how that happens. <laughs> oh, the so, number one seed loses. So he was, yeah, he lost in the first game. Um, so basically, I mean, right now, I mean, that's, you know, that's how it's going right now. It just seems like uh, we don't know what's going to happen with the NBA, obviously. So they're, uh, they're trying to fill the programming. Mm-hmm. Um, they're going to fill the programming. they're going to cancel out. the whole season permanently. Uh, I mean, I don't know if that's, you know, that's obviously that seems like where it's heading. But, I mean, the NBA is trying to figure something out. So, that way, yeah. you know, the season can be salvaged. But, I mean, you know, I mean, obviously, if it comes back, there'll be no fans. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, so we have that. You know, you also have uh, uh, just logistics. Where, where will they play? You know, how can they make sure that, you know, none of these players, obviously, if they're going to be in this – this small uh, or this uh, this one location that has to be you know safe for everyone's health. So I think uh, there's some things logistically they got to work out. Uh, on a brighter note, in basketball, uh, Kobe Bryant, uh, rest in peace. He was uh, elected to the basketball hall. It was obviously it was going to happen, but you know the official yeah, announcement sure. took place yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him, Garnett, and Duncan um, were like the three big ones that they inducted, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, those are the three big yeah. guys that uh, that they uh, inducted, and um, and yeah. So I'm just, you know, it's it's sad. I mean, yesterday ESPN played uh, Kobe's uh, 2010 uh, championship uh, victory against the Celtics Game Seven, but they also played earlier uh, Game Six in 2008 when Garnett and Ray Allen and Paul Pierce won the championship from Boston. So, you know, you get the watch those guys and and i think that's what a lot of people are doing right now in terms of sports they're just kind of reminiscent about the old you know it's like oh, yeah man, big time watch this game Ooh. game from 1999 you know so 
I think a lot of the sports are looking to see what the WWE is doing with their uh, – because of WrestleMania this weekend. It's, like, on oh, now yeah. still, probably. It's on now. Yeah, um, it's on now. I watched the flat first half last night because Lejeski and my other roommate, Kyle, they're, they're into it, and they have the WWE thing. It is wild to watch with no audience. It's actually yeah. theater. It's, yeah. like, a performance art that I didn't realize was – because, like, when you think of wrestling and wrestling fans – you don't think mm-hmm. of like the acting portion. Like you just see this mayhem of of chaos and like just mm-hmm. It, mm-hmm. it's not. You would never think that a wrestling fan would like theater, but then you take out the fan of wrestling, and then it, that's all it is. It's like yeah, a they're just theater player. nerds, dog. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's wild. I didn't yeah, realize I the Venn diagram was so big. Well, I watched a little bit of uh, I watched like WWE SmackDown uh, with no audience, and it was man, it was it was so interesting to me to watch because obviously yeah. it's never been done you know yeah. you need the fans but i i just can't tune into wrestlemania with no audience i just i and i watch <laughs> wrestlemania i've watched every wrestlemania everyone but i just can't get into it bro it's wild because like there's there's so many more women matches now mm-hmm. and, and and the only thing i the only reason why i bring it up because it's weird because like the girls are like screaming in agony they're like in yeah. pain and before they'd be drowned out by the audience but now there's mm. just screaming women on my television i'm mm. like is, mm. is this okay it sounds like there's someone being hurt in my apartment mm-hmm. i no, gotta check this out wow dude yeah you should you know <laughs> yeah it's right up your alley with you <laughs> <laughs> screaming women my mm-hmm. favorite <laughs> that's, uh, bad. that's bad that's bad <laughs> i'm leaving it in that's bad <laughs> that's no good. Well, uh, you guys can we get a Boston shit? update? Hold on. Let's get a, a Boston, Boston update. update. Yeah. About like, what? Your family. How are they doing right now? Are they are they all going to kill themselves because Tom Brady's gone? Oh, I mean, yeah. Dude, that's all I fucking talk about on the phone. I mentioned it last week. Every time I talk to somebody, it's like, you no, go I know. The COVID ro- routine, and then all of a sudden, it's like, dude, fucking Brady. Brady. It, fucking Brady, dude. It's like, okay. all right, calm down, guys. So no it's, updates. It's no, no updates. Everyone's still no, confused. I mean, it may not be a football season, you know. We don't know yet, you know. So. <laughs> yeah, there may not be. Trump was telling the NFL, uh, I mean, the yeah, the NFL, like, yeah, you guys should start on time. And they were like, what? I don't what? know about nuts. That. Uh, well, yeah, he said, he, he said, yeah, that the NFL has. I mean, the NFL is in the best obvious position because this season doesn't start till fall, whereas you know, baseball should be in, in action now. The NBA should be in action, yeah. NHL. Yeah. But, I mean, the NFL seems like they – and they were seeming like they were trying to go as, about as business as usual. They were in their free agency. They're, you know, still talking about conducting the draft later this month. So, um, we'll see what, what happens with the NFL. Because the NFL is usually the – we don't give a fuck about anything except for the bottom line. And we're going to – but I just don't see how you can – Because Stone Cold said so? That. I, yeah, I just don't see how you could put 80,000 people in a football stadium come um, September. I just don't see it, you know. It, it just seems like that's just, you know, that's just a, a, a fucking explosion waiting to happen. So Right. In well, my opinion, a lot of – no, go, Luke. Go, go, go. It's, it's probably just a great time to be a, a, one of the draft candidates as a football – like as a football guy, like just sit, being able to sit at home the whole time. And just watch mm-hmm. the draft. It's probably better for the nerves, honestly. Because could, <laughs> oh, could you I imagine? You, you know what I mean? Like just showing up uh, to the draft and just having to sit there and be like, "All right, when am I getting called?" But online, you could do whatever. You could just put up a picture and be like, "Yeah, I'm here." <laughs> just walk away, do whatever, have a good time. Um, but let's move into sneakers. Let's let's yeah, uh, let's talk about some let's, sneakers. Let's get stuff. into some kicks, some fashion, some clothes, mm-hmm. huh? Fashion, Doug. Where do you guys want to start? You guys want to start anywhere? Actually, I know where to start. I lied. Um, we can start with Supreme. I don't know if you guys saw it, but Supreme, uh, the Instagram uh, Supreme Leaks News had one of the best April Fool's jokes that I've yeah. ever seen. They said there was going to be a, um, a 60% off sample sale. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where they had all these like mock-ups of shit that never came out. And one of them was like a Jay-Z box logo. I think that's Reasonable Doubt box logo. I don't even know what, mm-hmm. where that picture came from. But, yeah, I shared it on my um, timeline after I realized it was a thing. And I got so many DMs from, like, listeners and, like, there's other street where people going, like, yo, for real? <laughs> no. What do you – at the end of the slide thing, there's a guy laughing. Like, there's no way this is real. Also, uh. the, 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 we think that there's a pandemic going on right now. <laughs> 
Do you imagine yeah. the mayhem mm-hmm. <laughs> that would be ensuing if all that shit was true? There's no way. Mm-hmm. But that was great. Mm-hmm. I love that. Dude, I like the Metallica vest. <laughs> it's all kind of like yeah. It's like it's weird, but it's nice. Hold on, the bandana ones looked kind of fire. Here, let me pull that up for you. Oh Can yeah, you here we it? go. Oh, here we go. Hold on, the bandana yeah. ones look great. Those are nice. I like those a lot. The polo bear one. Mm-hmm. That's a nice. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. Uh, Taj Mahal. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very weird choices, but they're great mock-ups. They're, they're, those are very solid. good mock-up. I bet somebody's getting a job out of this. <laughs> I used to do this it. shit when I was at um, Slam Hype. They were they had me mock up fake shit all the time. Yeah. Yeah, and everyone knew it was fake though. I, even no matter what Photoshop I did, that was great. They'd be like, "Yeah, it's not real." I'd be like, "Well, oh. mm. but we'll try harder next time." I will. I mean, well, it was part. It was partly the brands that they had me do. It'd be like make a Yeezy uh, cocaine box. I was like, "What? I don't want to do that at all." But um, mm-hmm. moving into real stuff that seems fake is that Lamborghini Supreme thing. Did you guys oh, yeah. check out that drop? That one was. Nuts. Did anyone grab anything? No, bro. No. No. See, this is more bullshit of high end meaning streetwear, and I hate it. Mm-hmm. I like that color though. The color in the green. No, the colors are fire. No, two great pop colors. colors. Yeah. But it only rich people get in that shit, dude. Make it yourself, people. Yeah, man. You guys didn't try for any of that shit though? No, I definitely no. did not. I've been uh not able to spend funds like that. Yeah. Well, we're all you know. Are you still working, Lawrence? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah, you're lucky, bro. I'm all my friends dropping my flies. I, I think you're the last person I know that's employed. Uh no, I'm I'm very uh I'm very uh thankful that I'm still working. Uh so you know, let's just let's just keep, you know, let's see where it goes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you just you you did get a pickup though, right? Uh yeah. the Stussy Sparadon Cage and Fossil. Hell yeah, dude. Bang bang! Did you get it? Uh, Absolutely. Come on, dude. This is a. I mean, uh, that's something else I was going to talk about. Uh, one of the uh, one of the Nike factory stores in Memphis uh, actually was shut down for a little while because one of the yeah. uh, workers there tested positive for uh, COVID nineteen. So mm-hmm. I. So now I mean the factories are already you know under you know intense. They are already working on these, these, these guys, these, I mean, deadlines and people, you know, it, it's already tough for them. And then for the employees to get, you know, come down with COVID, uh, you know, it just, just adds to the already, you know, tough situation we're already in. The, the shoes weren't scheduled to, I wasn't scheduled to receive them until the 16th. So it was, only, it was two weeks they were saying that it was going to take. Oh, so, okay. I mean, so now we're talking probably, you know, maybe you're gonna get them in weeks. June. <laughs> I mean, maybe you might not fuck around and get them until May, and then you know you gotta let them breathe for a little while. And oh, why? Because you think there's COVID all over your Stussy Nikes? Uh, no, but I'm just saying you want to take <laughs> just let them breathe. I mean, you probably won't even be able to fucking wear them until September anyway, because that's the first time you're gonna be able to go back outside. There's gonna be so Ooh. much shit. Dude, the amount of flexing that's going to be happening when we can all go outside again. Oh, yeah. Everyone, everyone's coming with, like, the best outfits they got. It's going to be like very that, funny. It's like that first day of spring flex, but times 10. First day of school flex? Full stay, first day of school, first day of spring, all those, like, yeah. big, first, you know. First day of school, definitely. Um, yeah. People first day of school. Back outside. Oh, my God. First day of school was always the flyest day. Everyone was yeah. fucking fit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Another good day was – I don't know how to t- say the day other than call it the first side titty day when girls, like, are first showing their side titties. That's an excellent fit day also. Girls really come out. <laughs> That's, Let's uh, – <laughs> yes. You guys know what I'm talking about. Though. I know what you're talking about. It's like the first – it's not like the first day of spring or summer, but it's like – But it's like real, in like between. Nice day. Yeah. Yeah. 
that's a fit day. That's, that's like first day of spring, though. That's like what that means. No, it, yeah, but kind of. You get like three of them, though, because like then we we fall back into cold like three times, and then you get yeah. three of those days. It's nice. Yeah, yeah At least yeah. in New York, because New York, there's 17 seasons. So, so I think this is what we're going to see going forward, guys, especially with a lot of stuff <laughs> that night. We're going to see delays, and we're going to see uh, just longer than, obviously, than normal shipping times. So you're mm-hmm. going to see yeah. a lot of, depending on how how long this really goes on for, we're going to see a lot of sneakers being pushed back, as we've already seen. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Court Purples, when do those come out? The 11th, I believe, the, uh, the Jordan 1 Court Purples. They're supposed uh, to. Luke, I think yes. you got to... Yeah. Yeah, I got them right here. Uh, let's see. Give me one second. Mm-hmm. There's a there's a bunch of new drops in this in this. Yeah. So let's see. Summer 2020. Well, it should be. I think the 11th now. If I'm correct. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, I don't know if it says definitively in there. This is just like a list of all those drops that are coming out. I bet. I want to talk about those fours, but going back down to your core purples, yeah, I, th- I think all this stuff in this thread are getting pushed back. All this stuff. Well, things things have definitely been pushed back. I mean, we, you know, because uh, the core purples were supposed to come out, I believe, on the fourth. Yeah. If I'm correct. So that was which was yesterday. So I believe, uh, you know, everything. <clears throat> like I said, you know, um, I'm sure, I'm sure the warehouse. You know, they already have a sale, so, you know, a lot of people are purchasing things from them. And then to add on the new releases being pushed back because, hey, I mean, at the end of the day, you can't, you got workers there. They need to, you know, they need to be protected. And when someone tests positive, a lot of these stores, they have to close down for a little while to, to, uh, to, uh, decontaminate. Yo, I can't take you seriously, Lord. You got your feet kicked up. Oh, you're talking about fucking. You talking about fucking shipping numbers? Fuck you. I know. It looks like there's gonna be a thirty percent drop. Up. Go to your house. They go like right in your diary on your bed. Jesus. I know. Thirty. <laughs> you know what I have seen though. In all seriousness, I have seen a 35% increase in OnlyFans websites. Uh, people <laughs> oh, we know, yeah. too. People we know, too. Oh, yeah. People Wait, are definitely do we, creating do we know? OnlyFans. Say names. I'm not saying names. Yeah, you can't. Don't say names. Come on, man. What, what, if, what if our fans are only fans of them, too? No. All right. No. <laughs> if you follow us, you probably follow them, too. That's not true. <laughs> That's not no, true. There's no way. Yeah, a lot of people uh, really just trying to figure out how to make any kind of money. It's mm-hmm. really, mm-hmm. It's really, really wild. Uh, you guys wanted to talk about the the fours, Chris. You want to talk about the fours? Yeah, I, I think that's a great pack. I wish they weren't metallic, but man, that's just, those are just fucking clean ass shoes, dude. I those want are all clean, those. dude. I want the green ones. So, like everyone that's loves like, the green ones. What's yeah, because they're like fours in green. They're jo- they're just basically like Jordan Stan Smiths. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, like kind of. But for, some, but for some reason, everyone loves the green on all. Like there was that fucking I forget when it came out, but that old ass one where it just had green hits that they weren't metallic, but everyone loves that one. This one, uh, yeah, I don't know. They're clean, man. I, so the clean. red's I want clean the red, too. The red, yeah, the red. I really want the red, but uh, I mean that that whole pack. That's just smart. They, Nike doesn't really do a lot of like white packs. No, so I like when I see that. Yeah. Also, wait. Go back to the um the Ross to the Warren's one. one? Yeah, yeah. I wish that was in men's. I don't know why women are getting all this special treatment lately. I don't know. I wouldn't get the Jamaican flag on the side. I like this, like the tints of green on the ends, though. I like that a lot. Like that color green. Someone called those nice. the "do the right things" to me, and I wanted to throw something. Ah, uh, <laughs> no. Yeah. Lawrence, you have any opinion on these? Uh, I don't really. I mean, I don't really care for them, but I, you know, I, I don't know. I, unless the, to me, I need fours in like like one of three colors: either like the fucking white and cements, the black and cements, or like the Oreos. Everything else, like metallics, mm-hmm. I'm I'm good. I'm, <clears throat> you know, I I feel like Gentry Humphrey is really fucking up Jordan Brand right now, and <laughs> this is another one of his just fucking fuck ups. Like you know. <laughs> this is just another one of his, like, you know, him just fucking shit up. Yeah, man. 
We got the. We already talked about the Flints and the Fire Reds. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, we talked about that that monstrosity right there. Yeah, but the tie dye is cool too. The tie dye is a new drop. I love the tie dye. Tie dye is nice. Tie dye is nice. Uh, Yo, has has uh has any shoe company come out with like a do it your own tie dye shoe? Um, no, but uh, I remember Adidas did a like a a workshop in New York a couple months ago where you could like tie dye your own shoes. Wait, really? With like you know, like the you do the dip. Yeah. Like yeah, they they were doing like a a live demonstration of the dips. Oh. Yeah, it was pretty cool. That's what's up. Hell yeah, dude. I think that was thing through Kinfolk. <clears throat> oh, all right. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. I don't know. I saw a tie dye joint and I was like, damn, how has nobody like made a do it your own pack? You know what I mean? Like a tie dye pack. None of none of those fours are gonna be all right unless they go on sale. I mean, you know, if they go on sale, then I can see. But to to pay for any of those sneakers, except with the exception of maybe of the fire red fives and the the flint mm-hmm. uh thirteens, and and I'm sure you could probably get the flint thirteen, <laughs> you know. But everything else, man, is fucking twenty five percent off, twenty percent off. Like no one's going to buy any sneakers at retail. Unless it's like super hyped up collabdos, yeah, uh, you know, because I'm not, you, you're not gonna pay, you know, I'm sure those joints are probably like what 200, 220, maybe for 200. the the fours for the the metallic, yeah, 225 probably. No, I'm sorry, no, no, it's 190 actually. I'm sorry. Oh, 190, 190 is, yeah. 190 is the yeah, because it's got the jump man on the back. But um, yeah, who's paying 190 for this shit, man? <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I don't know. I mean. Yeah, I mean the way the way the sneaker market's working now, everyone's waiting for everything to go into retail. There's not a lot of things that everyone is getting over retail at this moment. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That goat, the goat under retail tab, man, it's looking better and better every day. Yeah, the two. I love that tab. What do you call it? The three eighties are still there, and they keep dropping in price. It's nuts. Yeah. Let me see if there's anything else. I'm waiting for the pine greens to go low. I might get a pair of those. Yeah. Uh, man when i when i start working again and if, if the sneakers are still this low i'm buying a bunch of shit because they're ne- it's never going to stay this low again it's not it's not going to reach like this unless there's another global fucking crisis right and we hope that doesn't happen no <laughs> uh some sneaker companies getting involved in uh in helping to fight the disease right uh yeah, new balance new balance new balance recently started making masks not only has New Balance been killing it in, in general as a brand, but they're the only company that's like actually doing something helpful. Yeah, they were actually going through this. This article is actually really interesting about how like they go through the process of picking the materials and whatnot to use. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, they basically MacGyvered a mask out of the shit they had. Yeah, and they used the shoestrings as the. Uh, is like the, the the strings for it. It's nice. I guarantee because this because the streetwear market is so sick deep down, like it's such a dirty industry. That yeah. those are going to be selling for so I was, much money after this. Dude, I was thinking about that. I was thinking yeah, about guaranteed. that. Guaranteed. Dude, you get a head mannequin. You prop you prop one of those bad boys up on it. Ooh, hype beast king right there. Yeah, it's <laughs> disgusting. The the amount of shit that like those are going to go for after this whole thing. Look at this mm-hmm. heat, fucking heat, dude. This lady doesn't even know what she's got going on. She doesn't know she's got a fucking look at that. Fire. That could be a lady in Brooklyn too. Like that outfit is what people <laughs> Exactly, <laughs> bro. Look at that. Nuts. Drip yeah, too man. hard, man. The hardest drip. What if that's <laughs> the only thing that can stop this virus is the drip? <laughs> <laughs> The, the the flyer the mask the uh the more you can uh avoid corona yeah well mm-hmm. it's the number one thing that uh that kills the virus is water that's why I tell they people they tell people going outside to drink water so Wait, you know what? yeah yeah keep, keep it, yeah keep yourself hydrated oh 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 mm-hmm. well yeah you should be doing that anyway if you're so if you're if you're permeating the drip <laughs> One and two, I, bing, bang, boom. I thought you were going to bring that just into something where you were talking about literal drip, like water drips. I was supposed to be like, look, where are you going here? But no, I don't no, know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be like water and drip. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that's great. Uh, that's great. That's fantastic. <laughs> Let's see. I have uh, 
what, 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 do you, you got? what do you want to talk about? No, bring us in. Do it. Do it. Do what you want. Run uh, the show here. Oh, I'm running the show today. Okay, yeah. I guess I'm doing all the share screening so. Yeah, Let's don't do that. don't bring up Virgil again though. <laughs> I'm. I mean, I won't. But <laughs> I want to. I'm not gonna say that. I, you know, I'm coming oh, for yeah, that the, guy. This content yeah. reach right here. Hype Beast has an article about the guys from Bodega. Love Bodega. Yeah. Shout out to you guys. Um, about what they're doing during the Corona at home fucking quarantine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just another way to make us feel bad because this guy's desk is one of the flyest. De- he, dude, he has shoes that he uses for pen holders. Yeah, that's See, nuts. Click, yeah, click on that. On the yeah, go the right arrow. Yeah. Oh, oh, you going gonna... right? Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, that's cool. That makes me want to go see if I have baby shoes in my mom's house. Oh. Damn. That's pretty cool. But like, how are you not inspired with a desk like that? Like I'm looking at my desk now. I'm like, dude, I've been doing this all wrong. I don't know. I don't really, I'm not really a big desk guy. Oh, I love it. A good desk. No, I just keep all my, my knickknacks on it and that's it. Yeah, man. Uh, let's see. But yeah. They're really reaching here. Just asking, asking different companies what they do and they're, they're yeah. making it seem like a real editorial. Yeah. That's that's what they're trying to do. Just pump out content, guys. Speaking so of, I have a question. For, I have a question for both of you guys. Like, right. I mean, yeah. if how long how long do you think the the sneaker market is going to truly be under like this? Like, what are we looking at? Another year? Probably. Are we looking at Are we looking at a bounce back? Is, are things going like are stores like Flight Club and Stadium Goods going to be able to sustain? uh what they were doing the same or what's going on because i, hmm? I think the bigger mm-hmm. like the bigger stores like your flight clubs and your you know your sns uh even atmos like the bigger more uh i guess premium uh nike holders and stuff like that they'll be fine the local shops are really going to start closing down which means more pairs will be available online right I think that's what's Mm going to start happening. And then distribution will be, I I don't know, bro, put your feet up and and tell us about distribution. (laughs) I mean, this is what I think is. uh, So like along with restaurants, a lot of mom and pops are just, they're done unless they have like a good investment pool. It's over. And I I mean, there was a lot of uh, movement towards removing brick and mortars and trying to stay vertical in their online sales. So I think to a lot of like Nike's, Adidas, all these other companies, it's like a kind of like a secret, like godsend Mm because now they get to get rid of all the expensive retail spaces, Mm -hmm. focus Mm -hmm. on their online. So the margins will stay the same. Like the margins are going to improve greatly because they don't have to pay anybody and they don't have to pay for this uh, space. But yeah, the mom and pop, it, dude, that's all tanked. It's all done. Like, yeah. And the regular stock market, because the, the sneaker market dropped with the actual stock market, but there's, it's probably going to be a slow come up once the regular stock market comes back. Because yeah. out of all the things that we we need essentially, I feel like people are going to go for that before they go for their grails and shoot like other shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't see a lot of people focusing on sneakers like right after this. Like, I, you know, we were just joking about how like the first day back is going to be a great fit day, but like, I don't think there's going to be a lot going on, especially with all these mom and pops under. Uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's probably what's going to happen. Yeah. You see a place like round two, right? Yeah. And like, they don't have a web presence like that. And, yeah. um, and like now they're trying, I believe they're trying to cre- uh, get up and running a, a, a round two website. But this is what <clears> happens <throat> when you have like these mom, like these, these brick and mortar stores that have no online presence. It's kind of, uh, mm-hmm. you know, it's interesting, man. Yeah, I mean, I the fact that round two didn't have a website in the first place is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What were you, you going to say, Luke? Sorry, uh, it's just that, uh, like the, I see, I've seen a couple of local skate shops moving yeah, towards online as well. Cleaners, uh, well in city cl- uh, cleaners and, um, what's the other one? Labor two shops here in New York that are moving to more online stuff. I don't know if they're going to open up their, their stores again. They've been talking about 
not opening back up, which, you know, should be interesting. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, this is going to be a very interesting couple months and a very interesting year in general to see how this stuff plays out. Because, I mean, right now, there's literally nothing. Mm -hmm. Everything's closing. Only <clears throat> hoard money hoarders, Nike, Adidas, Reebok, you know, Puma, all these guys, they'll be fine. But everyone else, who, who fuck knows? Shit's over. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Oh, boy. It's just, oh. You can't even really, like, yeah. guess. You, you can only speculate because you, you never know what the fuck's really going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, we thought we were, like, we never thought it was going to get this bad. No. Mm -hmm. No, we thought we'd be out by, by now. Yeah. Trump said we were going to have Easter. You know what I mean? Like, no one's really saying that the, no one's taking this real seriously. And so, like, now where people are starting to lose their minds because they lost their jobs in their house for a week. Well, people people have been taking this serious, but, I mean, we, people have just uh, – the way the government has kind of, you know, played it out and made it seem as if everything was okay. But, you know, we know that things are not, you know. I don't know, man. I, I live near McCarran Park, and which is just a big mm -hmm. Northern, uh, big park in Brooklyn for, you know, the listeners. I went, dude, there was mm -hmm. full games of basketball, five on five. Well, that's why they removed a lot of uh, hoops. Yeah, I thought, I went over there because I was like, oh, I'll just sit in the park, quiet park. No one will really be there because everyone's inside. No, dude, it was like a regular Saturday in the summer. Like, it's been packed. Oof, it's really? nice outside, too. It was nice outside. Yeah. Damn. <clears throat> well, I mean, this is it. <laughs> this, is, this is it, man. This is it. This, this, is, this is literally it. This is this podcast is one of three things I have to do now. Yep. I miss this, comedy so bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I miss comedy a lot. Oh, man. I know. All I've been doing is uh, sending money to foreign women. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. What the <laughs> fuck? They have no houses, Lawrence. <laughs> I have to help them. Oh. He's the only fan. I'm the only fan. <laughs> just me. That's what they tell me. <laughs> I'm just the fan. Jeez, special, man. Luke. Uh, oh, I mean, Louis came out with a special. I was, yeah, speaking of specials. <laughs> Did you guys manage to see it? I saw like half of it. I watched the whole thing. You did? I just started watching it. Yeah, I watched the whole thing yesterday. It's so ironic that Louis would come out with a special, wow, we can't leave our house. <laughs> right. <laughs> that the irony killed me i was like really dog out of all the times you wait till everyone can't leave to drop a special mm -hmm. that's great good for you that's great it was perfect i'm happy timing. to see him back though it gives me like a little hope as far as just like comedy in general I'm like all right louis drops a special it's not yeah not dead yet you know we're fine. it's not dead we're yet good. but was it good yeah it was good i like the, the, right, cool. the first half i've the first half i saw some of that because of skank fest but yeah i like it for what it is right now yeah, there's okay. a lot of a lot of good bits in there. I had I was keeled over a couple times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's yeah, man. Uh, um, what else we got? We got those Reeboks. I mean, the Adidas Hardens. Oh yeah, I just wanted to talk about uh, the cross branding on that. Uh, I thought it was very interesting, Luke. If you want to pull it up real quick. Bang. I don't know if you saw this either of you, but so this is a Harden uh, Adidas that's based off a of Reebok Iverson. It's off to the questions, right? Yeah. So I know that, you know, Adidas owns Reebok, so there's a little leeway there as far as homage to another brand. But they, this generally doesn't happen a lot. No. These are clean, I like too. it because I like it because it's not only two basketball shoes with mm -hmm. the players, but um, they did a great job of the color blocking compared to the Iverson. <laughs> yeah. No, mm -hmm. these, are, these are great in comparison to these. You just don't get to see a lot of stories being told like that just because of the, you know, the, the brand thing. Yes. It's like, we'll nice. never get, we'll never get like a toaster homage to the Kobe, like any of the new Kobe's that come out because mm -hmm. of the cross-branded thing. And the toasters are like one of the most, like, that was so ahead of its time. But just because Nike will never, ever reference any of, like, even the crazy eights, none of that shit. Not even colors. No. <clears throat> Unfortunately not. Yeah, man. Let me see. Anything else today? I don't know. I think that's it. Unless, um, I mean, Lawrence. Do Drake you... song? 
Oh, there's a Drake song that came out? Yeah, there's a new Drake song. It's uh, oh. the, uh, whatever it's called. Is it good? It's it's Drake. Two C slide. Two C slide. Two C slide. Two C slide. Yeah. Oh, I hate that name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's good. I mean, I know I saw the picture of his kid. He finally showed his son. Oh yeah, yeah. He's wrapped up in the whole conspiracy too. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? I, you know, I'm not gonna get into it on this one. I promised I wouldn't, <laughs> but. I just, it's just a coincidence that they, you know, he let his son out of hiding when we're all forced inside too, you know? Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Did you watch uh-huh. that video, Lawrence? I didn't watch it. You're a fucking, <laughs> you're a bad friend, dude. What the hell? Wait, what, what video are you talking about one more time? What, what? My it's fucking like conspiracy. I put it on I the have, I have it. No. Dude, he's like doing math and like. I'm Dude, it's incredible. You you I'm should. Sorry, cor- coronavirus got me fucking in my feelings. I'm sorry, bro. Actually, I'm it's sorry. COVID. It's COVID, and that's very key for figuring out the entire puzzle, man. I'm telling you. You're right. I'm sorry. You're right. And remember, what 19. does the D stand for? What does the D stand for? In COVID, Drake. stands for Drake. <laughs> he's a co-conspirator, man. I'm telling you. No, yeah, so if, ever, if everybody, because no one, most people have no idea what the fuck we're talking about, go on our Patreon and, mm-hmm. um, you know, subscribe, obviously, to get the content. And Luke really breaks down why he thinks Virgil started COVID-19. <laughs> As, looks like I got some points. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I think we're almost about to get shut off by this thing. I don't know. There's no timer. Uh, For the only okay. audio listeners, we got, uh, we're on Zoom here. So, the, you know, the new way of communicating uh, in humanity. <laughs> That's a fact. That is a fact. Bro, my mom is so funny because, like, she, she also is trying to do this unemployment shit. But since ho- her and I are uh, sole proprietors, like, our thing is a little different. Like, we're weird. We mm. can't just be like, hey, give us money. Because, like, we technically, like, didn't have a job because we, sell- we, we employed ourselves. But right. she mm-hmm. has no idea how to do fucking anything, dude. It, over mm-hmm. the phone, it took me fucking 45 minutes to get her to download Zoom. It was nuts. I love it. It was wild. <laughs> and I, but now she's like, a, she's a Zoom freak. And she's like, oh, look at me. I don't know how to use this. Tom Brady's not on the team anymore. Everything sucks. <laughs> That's yeah, what your mom sounds now. like. I'm a yeah, Zoomer. <laughs> Zoomer. Everyone's a Zoomer now. Everyone's a Zoomer. Mm-hmm. We got to get okay, Tanner Zoomer. on here. We should get Tanner. We could get anyone we want. He'll just be T posing the whole time. In the <laughs> yes, he will be. All right. All right. Final thoughts? We, yeah. Anything, guys? Lawrence, got any nah, final just, thoughts? Just stay safe out there, y'all, and just uh, we're going to get through this, man. You know what I mean? And wipe down everything you get. You know what I mean? And, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, use Lawrence as an as a inspiration for comfort. Just kick your mm-hmm. feet in the air, guys. Barefoot yep. and all. Mm-hmm. Do a little crisscross. <laughs> Listen to a little Cindy Lauper, maybe. Mm-hmm. Cindy Lauper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> uh, you definitely listened to that because your mom growing up. Mm-hmm. My mom. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess that's it, guys. Uh, final Instagram. thoughts. Instagram. First. Uh, yeah. Any final th- anything? No, I'm good. Mm-hmm. I'm good too. Yes, like Lauren said, stay safe. Uh, at not that Cheney at. Uh, LZD325 at Trovisus at uh, Sub Podcast NYC. You can text us, email, whatever. Uh, fucking Discord. Yeah, get on the Discord, Join the guys. Discord. Mm. You know, every week, dude, it gets so annoying every week. Join the Discord, mm. rate, subscribe, review, all that shit. Just do it, please, guys. Yeah. You have literally nothing better to do. Come on, mm-hmm. help, help us out. <laughs> uh, all right. All, all right. right. Bye, guys. Bye. Later, guys. <laughs>